Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. Today we're going to build a Whack-A-Mole inspired game with an Arduino and just a few other parts. This is a cheap and easy build. And you'll find links to all the parts and the code in the description. All you need to build this game is a box, a few buttons, an LED matrix and an Arduino Nano. The idea of the game is to push the buttons as they light up to score points. The first player to reach a score of 100 wins the game. To save time we bought a ready made wooden box. The first thing we did was replace the weak plywood at the bottom of the box, as this is gonna be the top of the game. It has to be solid so it will not break when the buttons are pressed. We used an oscillating tool to cut out the bottom and then we cleaned up the edges. When the bottom was out, we measured and cut a half an inch thick wood plate. This will act as the top of the game. We sanded the edges and used both glue and screws to secure it to the box. Then we decide to cut out the legs on the box to make it look better. We also strengthen the legs by adding a triangle piece of wood. Finally, we spackled and sanded the box before we spray painted it. In hindsight, we would just use ordinary paint and not spray paint. When that was done, we chose a pattern for the buttons and drilled holes. We also made room for the LED matrix that will keep the score. Since the button extends a bit beyond the holes, we were safe drilling after it was painted. But it would be a better idea to do the drilling and cutting before you paint. Now the box is done, so let's do the electronics. The LED on the buttons are all 12 volts compatible, but since we want to run everything using an Arduino Nano, we need it to be 5 volts. Luckily there's an easy fix. We just replace the current resistor with a lower ohm resistor, and repeat that for all the buttons.
The buttons are easy to use. The two terminals are just extensions of the LED legs. The three terminals in the middle are for the switch. We're only going to use the common terminal and the normal open terminal. Before we wire it up, let us show you a little trick. Since we're going to connect five buttons for each player, and each button requires one pin for the LED and one pin for the push button, we're going to need 20 pins on the Arduino. Additionally, we need one start button that requires one pin for the LED and one pin for the button. And finally, we need to connect the LED matrix display which requires three pins. In total, that means that we need 25 pins from the Arduino. If we do not use the RX and TX pin, the Nano has 12 digital pins. Additionally, we can use the 8 analog pins. That gives us a total of 20 pins. So we're still missing 5 pins. Instead of using a shift register or do manual multiplexing, we are simply going to use a voltage divider. A voltage divider is two or more resistors connected in series, so that will output different voltage between the resistors. This is an example where we input 5 volts and simply by connecting one 10k resistor and one 20k resistor, we get 3.3 volt in between them. We're going to use even more resistors so that we can connect all the player buttons for one player. And this can be read by the Arduino on one single analog pin. So instead of needing 5 pins for each player's buttons, we now simply need one analog pin for each player. That saves a total of 8 pins. Here's an example built in Thinkercad. There's a link to the schematics in the description. To tie it up, we made a motherboard with screw terminals to connect to the LEDs and the buttons. All you need to finish up your own game is to download the code as you will find a link to in the description. There you also find the links to the schematics and all the products used in this video. And that's all you need to build your own game. I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. See, See you, you next time! time.